Hi, I'm Lieutenant Murray and I'm with Charlie 652, which is part of 35th ADA here at Camp Humphreys. 652 ADA is here with 23rd Seaburn. We're doing decon with some of our vehicles and also personnel. This would be done after an intercept of a dirty TBM at a lower altitude that would have slimed our site. And we need to decon our personnel and our equipment before we got back into the fight. So the scenario given of a low intercept of a TBM sliming our site, we would have our personnel in Mop 4 gear, and then they would do something called pm &E. It's march ordering the equipment and in placing the equipment. We wouldn't be in placing, but we would be march ordering the equipment and driving it out to the site here, where the decon team with 23rd Seaburn would move in to decon our personnel and our equipment that got slimed at site. So the big part of this exercise is to really rehearse Seaburn. There is a Seaburn threat here in Korea, and we're very lucky to be co-located with Seaburn units. This training is unique because we don't usually get operational decon and having our soldiers change out their JS lists or spraying down their vehicles. It's a unique opportunity that 652 has here that we wouldn't get in many other brigades across the world that ADA has spread. This ties into our fight tonight readiness by ensuring that if a low intercept of a dirty TBM happens, we're able to rehearse some of those basic Seaburn tasks with our organic Seaburn elements and also with Seaburn elements here. So we can get out from a dirty site, clean ourselves, get back into the fight as soon as possible to protect the asset here at Camp Humphreys. I would really like to thank 23rd Seaburn doing combined events through these two branches that aren't really known of or as thought of when you think Army because you think field artillery, infantry, armor. But I think in this new environment that we're going into, we're seeing the impact of ADA. Pretty soon we might be seeing the impact of Seaburn. Now coming back to our fundamentals is really going to help us to deter future threats as the Army moves forward.